Here's how to remove an eSIM on Android. Now, if you no longer wanted to use your specific eSIM or physical SIM card, I'm gonna show you how to remove it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first option will go into your settings. So let's just swipe up from here and tap on the settings icon. Once you're in the settings, you can see at the very top is connections, including SIM manager. So let's just tap on that. Now you can see midway down is SIM manager. Let's hop into there. Now you have two different options to remove an eSIM or physical SIM card. The first one is you can just disable it. You don't necessarily need to permanently remove it. By just toggling it off and hitting turn off, you will essentially disable that eSIM and it will no longer basically be able to access phone calls, send or receive phone calls and text messages, etc. for that number. However, if you wanted to permanently remove it, you can also just tap on it and then you can see the remove icon at the very bottom. So just tap on that. You'll use your face ID or anything like that and you can see remove eSIM. Your phone won't be able to connect to that network anymore. Keep in mind when you do this and if you wanted to get that eSIM back, you basically need to go to the carrier and say, hey, I need a new QR code to activate a new eSIM after the fact. So make sure you're positive that you don't want it anymore because it's a bit of a pain to get it back. Now, keep in mind, if you go through this whole process and you want to remove a physical SIM card, all you need to do is get a little pin at the very bottom of your phone. Make sure you don't tap or basically insert a pin into the microphone there. Make sure it's the one for the SIM card and then just pop out the SIM card holder and remove the SIM card. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.